What's up YouTube? How you doing everybody? You already know this your boy Eric Hita coming back again with another tutorial. Today we are making a watermark for subscribe. The subscribe button, the little button you see down here on the bottom right, that's exactly what we're doing today. If you're new onto this channel, please subscribe. Otherwise, just press the like button and leave the comment down below. Thank you. Let's go. Now, this is a channel where you come to and learn a few tricks for your videos and find success on YouTube. Now, watermark is a little button you see down below here on the bottom right corner of your video that says subscribe. Two things. One, I'm going to show you how you set it up in YouTube Studio in settings so you can have your watermark on. Two, I'm going to take you step by step on how I made this particular one you see here on the screen, how I made my watermark using Canva. And if you want to grow on YouTube, you're going to have to have it on. And I'm here to show you just how. Right, here we are within a YouTube studio uh, on a dashboard. I'm sure you're familiar with this page already. This is where you get all your stacks and uh, the subscribers and a few more other information. So now what we need to do is go into settings. All right, so when you get into settings, you go into you click on channel and then click on branding. All right, so this is the page here. As you can see, I already have my watermark here on this, uh, on my uh, channel. So what I'm going to do now is remove it. So now that I removed it, uh, this is what you're going to have if you don't have a watermark on it. So what it says here is, adding a video watermark to your content is a great way to improve brand awareness and channel recognition. So this is very important. You need to have one. It's best to have a PNG or a GIF format, which is the extension of the file of the image. Uh, 150 by 150 pixels, best to be under one megabyte, all right? Images with one or two colors uh, and a transparent uh, background work best. So that's what you need to go for. Uh, mostly two colors, don't go more than that. Okay, so Watermark will overlay your video in the bottom right corner of the video player. Okay, so you're gonna have it down here. So let's choose the image. Let's say this is the start. So I'm going to choose as well an image. So what happens is it takes you straight into your folder. And as you can see, I'm gonna choose again the image that I had on before. Okay, but then that's done. Once that's done, as you can see, it gives you an option here, okay? It says to you, you want it at the end of the video or you want it cast, uh, custom set time. Basically, you have to choose what time does it have to appear on your video or the entire video. I will probably go, I would rather go for the entire video. I prefer that. But if you want, for example, for that custom time, uh, what it does is it asks you, do you want it to start five seconds uh, into the video or whatever? You can change that whichever way you want. Okay. And if you want the end of the video, it will be just at the end of the video. Okay, but I want the whole entire video and I want it from the start. And the next thing is I will do is save. That's done. What happens is it goes all over the videos, all, all of my videos. So, okay, that is one way of doing it. So let me show you the second way. Now, here we are in Canva. Okay, I use Canva and I'm sure you probably know already I've done a video on Canva. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description uh, so you can probably follow that video and get familiar with, with Canva as well. Okay, so here it is. Um, this is in my uh, design folder on, on Canva, actually. You will have that on. This is, this is, this is the uh, watermark that I made. So I'm going to try and sort of recreate this, but not completely, but almost the same thing. So we go back to home. And the next thing we need to do is to choose the dimension. So it says you probably have 150 to 150 pixels, but I'm going to go with 400, which, which is best here on top. It will give you uh, a perfect size as well. So 400 to 400. This is how I went for the other one. Make sure you're on pixels. And then we go in. Uh, here now, what you have is you have that, uh, uh, you have the canvas that is already that size you chose. On the left side here, uh, it's the menu. What you have here is 
the uh, photos, you can pick any of the photos depending on what project you're working on. So we will need elements, elements which will give us all these, uh, uh, you know, shapes that we might need to use, and the text as well. Okay, we choose whatever format you prefer. Uh, you, you get to change the background if you want to do that. But I'll go straight with this, okay? Uh, we pick the square and paste, paste it in. As you can see, it's a different, it's, uh, it's this, I don't know, grayish color and stuff, you know, which is not exactly what we want for our work. So I'm going to pick it, just show, showing you the color. I'm going to pick red. Now I have the red color here. I go back onto element. I uh, will pick this uh, rect rectangular uh, uh, shape and twist it to make the play button. Okay? Just like I had it. Uh, the other, just the way I had it together from there. Anyway. It's not straight, so you're gonna have to take some time to make it straight. You know, we're not gonna go that far in this video. As you can see, it's red. So I click on it, you know, I go again to the color, and I pick the white color. There you go. Immediately we're getting somewhere. So now I'm gonna add in the text. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna go into all of this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the, the top one, the first one. Just to make this quicker, you don't have to go into this for hours. And then, so I'm going to change to subscribe. And there you go. So now that, that we have that, as you can see again, the color is black. So if you like that, fine. But the way I have it in the other it was the color of uh, was the color white. So I'm going to go back here to the letter, give it the color, pick the color. So you can change whatever size, it's best if it's actually a little bit bigger so that uh, we can see. Again, uh, if you want to change the size, the best way to do it is to highlight it. And then we go here, change, I mean, it was at 31.1, 31.5. Uh, I'm going to make it maybe 36, right? It's a bit bigger. You can go way bigger than that if you want. And then that's it. If you want, like I have my name in, in, in the center here, so I'll take that one, the small one. I'll put it in there. Uh, there we go. And we keep it. There you go. So I have my name in it. Uh, well, I did a bit different, but uh, it's pretty much what it is here. So um, if I want to change the color as well, I'll go in here and change the color. So for this purpose, I don't really have to do that, but I'm just going to show you. Anyway. I'll make it black so you can appear, just, just for the purpose of this video. And also, you have a chance to move it around. And also, you could go in there and change letter by letter, if you want to change the color of each letter. I'm going to change that just to show you that you could do that. There you go. So you could do that and get it done. And here we are. We are done. We have our subscribe uh, watermark button. The next thing is you do is you download it. Remember to make sure it's a, it, it, has a, it has an extension of, uh, of PNG. All right, you can change it depending what project you're working on. For this purpose, we're gonna keep it PNG and then download. I already have it, so I don't have to download it. Once you click it, you click download, it goes into your folder and then, and then you go into your folder and pick it up from there. That's it, we're done, uh, voila. So now you have it guys, so thank you very much for sticking with me all the way to the end and uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, help my channel grow and so we can make more videos, you know, more tutorial coming up as well. Um, yeah, press the like button, leave a comment if you think uh, you have something that you want me to do in the future, just let me know, just put it down below and uh, I'm going to put the link in the description down below for, as well for the last video I did on how to make a thumbnail using Canva, all right? So uh, yeah, stay awesome, keep creating, let's go.